see-through nipple pasty outfits alone you guys leave that alone like it does not look good i'm telling you guys like those outfits where it's like the shirt with the pants and the pants are like see-through and you see the girl's panties like through the pant like that's not that's not outside clothes like i don't even know who started that trend it's he prefers you thin he may not he prefers you thin he may not tell you that but i promise you he prefers you thin um is people judge you based on how you look so look good everyone is going to judge you based on your presentation there's no way around that people are going to judge you based on what you're wearing and based on how you look when you walk in the room like you're not going to get any passes or empathy or sympathy people's first impression of you is going to be on how you look when you walk in the room there's no way around it hey baby dolls how are you guys um if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that hit the bell for um, when i post new videos and also uh, visit it's moments with to keep up with my blog and to book a girl chat so this is gonna be a really chill video i don't really want to like rush through this um this video is going to be on change your looks to get a better outcome does that sound shallow yes but guess what honey the world's shallow um yes change your looks to get a better outcome like i have seen and i'm just okay i don't want to sound mean oh my god i don't know how to say this i have met women who are absolutely just they have it going on and I always think to myself, dang, I wish I could give her a makeover. Like, if I gave her a makeover, she would be it. Because I see so many women with the potential to upgrade their entire exterior. And they don't care to do that. they rather be the plain Janes, okay? And change your looks to get a better outcome. Not even just a better outcome with people or men, but a better outcome with yourself. So when you look in the mirror, you feel happy. Or, um, you know, when you go to the doctor's office, your cholesterol, blood pressure, everything's perfect because you're in shape. Like, change your looks for a better outcome, you guys. Like, people care. People are going to judge you on how you look. Whether you want to accept it or not. People are going to judge you on how you look. Like, I invest so much into myself to look the way that I look. And I, I'm still not even satisfied with my looks. I feel like I can do better. I feel like I can push myself harder in the gym. I feel like I can eat better. I still feel like I can run an extra mile. Like, I feel like I can do more. Um, making my celery juice in the morning and just drinking a whole gallon of water a day. Like, I, there's more I can do. So, you guys have to change your looks to get better outcome. Change your looks to get a better outcome. Change your looks to get better men. Change your looks to get better friends. Change your looks to get better opportunities. That's just it. Like, you're not better than a girl because you don't wear makeup. And I've met a lot of plain Jane, tomboyish, unhappy women that think that because I come in the room and I have my lashes on and I'm put together that some way somehow you're more confident than me because you're wearing nothing no baby that that's not what it means that means you just don't really value yourself that much and you don't really care about how you look and your life is going to be an example of how far that's going to get you so change your looks to get a better outcome first thing is lose the weight boo lose the weight sweetheart lose the weight I had to tell myself there was a point in time where I got to a certain point where I'm like okay I need to lose this weight now because if I don't this is not going to be good a good outcome so lose the weight boo lose the weight you know when it, every woman knows when it's time for you to lose weight you can try to avoid it or beg your man to validate you by saying you're not fat when you know that you are in fact overweight lose the weight boo lose the weight it'll be better for you you'll feel better you'll think better you'll sleep better your health overall i would never sit here and be an advocate for being overweight i can't be an advocate for that because i used to be overweight and my knees were always hurting i didn't sleep that well i was always short of breath like i'm not going to be an advocate for being overweight this is not that type of channel this is a channel where i give you guys honesty and and stop guilt tripping that man into staying with you or being crazy about you when you know you're big 
he prefers you thin. He prefers you thin. He may not, he prefers you thin. He may not tell you that, but I promise you he prefers you thin. And you wanna be able to go out to dinner with your man and he, your man is seeing other men checking you out and he's thinking, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's mine, that's mine, I'm all over that. I'm all over that tonight when I get home, when we get home, I'm gonna be all over that. That is how you want your man to feel about you, right? So, lose the weight. The next thing is you'll look better thinner. Like, you will look better thinner. You will. You'll look better thinner. I promise you, your clothes are going to fit you better. Your makeup, your contour. You're just going to look better when you're thinner. I, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. You'll look better thinner. The next thing on how to change your looks to get a better outcome is leave the Fashion Nova and Rainbow alone. And I'm not talking about pricing. I like a bargain. That's why I shop on Sheen or Cheyenne. Sheen, Cheyenne. I don't know if it's Sheen, but I shop on Sheen, Boohoo. Like, I like a bargain. I, I even shop on Amazon. My Amazon list is below. So you guys can look at some of the classy, sophisticated wear that I shop on there, but Leave the Fashion Nova and Rainbow alone. Why? Because those clothes look very, very distasteful. Like you guys, the checkerboard shirts and um, those shirts that kind of like tie around like a bikini where all your stomach is out. Fashion Nova is like very over-sexualized club wear. I'm not saying that they don't have nice things. They do. But leave the, the spandex club wear uh see-through nipple pasty outfits alone you guys leave that alone like it does not look good i'm telling you guys like those outfits where it's like the shirt with the pants and the pants are like see-through and you see the girl's panties like through the pant like that's not that's not outside clothes like i don't even know who started that trend it's terrible and it looks very very cheap so leave the fashion nova and rainbow alone girls the next thing is check your hair, brows, and face, okay? If you wear wigs, I wear wigs sometime. I have like seven. <laughs> um, purchase them from a good site so that they can be glueless and make sure your lace and wig is placed together before you put it on. Am I wearing a wig now? No, this is my hair. I'm wearing clip-in extensions where I can just take them out whenever I want and put them back in. And sometimes I just put my hair in a ponytail to go out. But Get your wigs from like Eunice. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Eunice. Eunice is good. I think Ali Pearl hair. Get good glueless uh, closure wigs that you can customize or you can have someone customize for you so you can wear it every day when you go out. You don't want your hair to look like a hat. You don't want to wear a wig hat. I've seen so many girls where the lace is kind of just up and you can like put your finger through it. And I'm not judging because I've had situations like that where my wig was not sitting on my head or I didn't take my time I'm on the glue and the glue got unstuck and now you see the glue the wig and then my hair that's happened to me before I'm not here to judge but I've grown out of that and I've become more careful so um check your hair check your brows yes you will look better when your out eyebrows are threaded or waxed it shapes and frames your face and sometimes you won't even have to fill in your brows you can just leave them because they look good and they're done and then of course your face, taking care of your skin. Yeah, makeup is always good, but you definitely wanna have good skin underneath. Um, one thing that I've learned about makeup, especially foundation, is it can like seep in your skin and be in there for days. Like there are times where I'll wash my face and I have a white um, towel cloth and I'll wipe and I still see a little bit of residue of foundation. So you have to take care of your skin underneath, which is why I had a video, I don't know if it's still up, of me putting ponds all over my face or albacore i think is what it's called it's like this vaseline type of thing makeup remover and i drench my face in that and i get everything out with makeup wipes before i wash my face because i want to fully have my pores cleaned out from the makeup um and take care of your skin so that you do have beautiful skin so if you ever want to like run somewhere without makeup on you can just throw on lipstick or lip gloss and you still look beautiful because your skin looks good the next thing on change your looks to get a better outcome is people judge you based on how you look. So look good. Everyone is going to judge you based on your presentation. There's no way around that. People are going to judge you based on what you're wearing and based on how you look 
when you walk in the room. Like you're not gonna get any passes or empathy or sympathy. People's first impression of you is going to be on how you look when you walk in the room. There's no way around it. Your nails, feet, and everything count towards your looks. So some people may say, okay, well Mel, what are the basic ways that I can change my looks for a better outcome? Okay, if you have relaxed hair, you can relax your hair, always go to the Dominican hair salon every two weeks, wrap it every night before you go to bed, or put clip-in extensions like what I do. Or get a sew-in and make sure it sits nice, make sure you wash it, and you sit under a hooded dryer every two to three weeks to make sure your hair doesn't smell, or get a really nice wig, or if you're gonna do box braids, make sure the person that does them is very clean and they're very, they're very nice and laid out nicely, and, um, once the front starts to look a little bit weird, have them unbraid them and do the front part again so it sits nice. So, um, yeah, like your hair is important because people are going to judge you on how you look. So those are the basic things. And then your nails, regular gel, dip, mani, pedi, brows done, lashes, you're fine. Or you can even wear the strip lashes. Like literally, it's very simple. The next thing is, or the last thing is, you will attract better people. It's just how it is. I promise you guys like the minute you walk in the room and you look good people okay well it works two ways there are going to be jealous people but there's also going to be people who just want to gravitate towards you or give you opportunities or use you as the face of their company specifically because you look good and they just like that like those opportunities are going to open for you and you should definitely use them to your advantage the way you look and the way you carry yourself is so important all right guys thanks for watching bye